All right, so carrying on, it's Gent versus Shred on this uh, next section of Author of Fate in our series where we have a, uh, a chordal rhythm. <laughs> this uh, lead line that goes over top of it. Okay, so the chords uh, is this descending uh, riff from B minor, so... And so we're sliding up from, or sliding, yeah, sliding from the A up to the B minor, up to the B. And I, when I recorded it, I actually used a couple of different guitars, and one of them just plays this, um, plays the D chord without the, uh, without your, your root note, not your bass. So it's just barring on the second, uh, third and fourth string on the seventh fret. And it also gives you a B minor seven here. But so we go back to that. And then of course the other guitar, I, I had one go actually to the D chord and the root. Now, you know, we, Probably you can just you can also come up to the tenth fret. I just don't. I just don't think that way. I guess. But at any rate, then we go. We do the same similar type of thing. We come down here to G and we slide up to A. And then there's a B chord in there instead. Now this next section is actually a first inversion D sliding to the G. So. There's another one of those inverted chords, and it just holds and it goes up to that A. So this note stays the same. And then we go down to uh, F sharp, and we're starting off of the E. And then it, we just throw in that A at the end. So now I've got that kind of hi hatty rhythm or muty that muted thing that muted concept that we were talking about earlier in the previous videos where I'm trying to keep this low end kind of chucky genty 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 kind of thing but I'm opening up when I'm hitting the chords And I also, when I do this, I use the pinky to play my bar chords a lot. It, it's just easier. I just find it's easier for me. So that's the rhythm. And the lead, again, we're not going to go through this uh, note for note. Um, so hopefully you can just rewind it if you're actually interested in playing all of these things. But the leads are all based out of B minor. B minor positions, B minor pentatonic. B minor arpeggios, um, centering around B minor as we move through this. I have to remember. Yeah. So. So a lot of one e and a two e and a. Okay, and then this riff. It's just out of your B minor again. Depend upon how you want to do it. Think of it as a D or a minor. 
But I also, also, uh, if you watch my, uh, if you watch my picking hand, I prefer doing it down, up, down, up, down. I think when I recorded, I might have actually picked it. I don't know, but we we played a lot faster live. So, um, but I prefer. A lot of players will just use upstrokes, one upstroke, all the way. I guess Steve Morris and I would just that, but uh, there's another another B minor. There's your your rhythm and your leads for um, for that section, which is probably the most chorusy section you'll have. Um, and like I say, that goes on. That's the same for both the first and the second part of the of the song. So hope you're uh, hope for, hopefully you're getting inspired um, seeing some of these these things. And I appreciate everybody who's uh, who's following the series.